Welcome to Glass of Barley. Right now we are delving into the world of food pairings with Ratafia Champagne Noir. And we've got a Zadle Leconte as the label that we're testing. We're not testing, we're tasting. Well, we're testing as well. But we've got the Zadle Leconte and we've got three of the classic grapes here in Champagne. We've got the Meunier, we've got the Pinot Noir and we've got the Chardonnay. So they had a label expressing each of those grapes. And we're going to try it with a few food pairings. Now, it's quite versatile for the Ritafia Champagne Noir, this kind of liqueur wine. It does go well with different foods. I find it personally goes very well with certain kind of hams and certainly an array of cheese. You can put it with desserts. There's things like pork it goes with, even melon. Different things you can pair it against. But today we just wanted to go through the cheap. A few cheeses here, including blue cheese, and it's highly recommended with blue. We've got some pate, we've got some cured salami there, some other hams, we've got even pork pie. So we're going to give it all a go. Sounds good. Are we starting with the taste notes of the Ratafia? Yeah, let's go for that, that one first. So let's try the Chardonnay. Chardonnay was a silver medal at the Ratafia Champenois Awards in London earlier this year. So exactly at Le Con, Alexis is the winemaker and his winery is based west of Epinay, so that's in Valley de la Marne there. And they have an accumulation of 40 small plots. And I've got a note here that the vineyard very much respects the phases of the moon in how they look after, how they pick and everything like that when it comes to producing their, their champagne primarily, but also that filters through to the Ratafia Champagne Noir. So let's go for the Chardonnay first, silver medal as I say. Soft yellow fruits. Yeah, yellow floral, very soft as I've said, silky texture on the nose. Hints of pastry. There is pastry, there's, there's peach, there is apricot, dried apricot. A little bit, you could say a little bit towards the tobacco side, a bit of nourish sheets, sushi nourish sheets, but not so much. It's mostly golden yellow fruits, yellow yeah. floral. Yeah, I agree with that. Nice flavour, nice sweetness. Yeah. Uh, yellow fruits continue again. Nice soft, silky mid palate. Aging towards like a croissant ear, kind of a croissant, apricot croissant ending. Yeah, I, I agree with that completely. It's very relaxing. Very relaxing. Let's try the next one. Let's go for the Pinot Noir, another silver medal at the 2022 Ratafia Champagne Noir Awards. Thank you. So slightly different colour to this one, whereas the Chardonnay, obviously the, the white grape it is relatively light in colour. This is taking a little bit of the character of, of, of the grape here. So it's a touch darker than the, the Chardonnay. And uh, each bottle has the same branding, but very distinct different colours. At the neck of the bottle, yeah, and, and, and the pattern design. So not all labels do that. Sometimes they're very confusing. Some, some wineries that have multiple labels, you sometimes do get lost with what is what, they're not always clearly identifiable. Here, Alexis has certainly made that the case. So this was the Pinot Noir, silver medal. Intent, a little bit more intensive, still quite silky and quite subtle, but it, it feels more complicated than what Chardonnay did. It, it brings to the forefront more of those tobacco and nourishing characters. It, yes, and it has also a, a little bit more alcohol present, so I can smell the alcohol more than I could with the Chardonnay. We still get the yellow characters like apricot and peach, but it feels like it's been reversed, so they're in the background this time. Mm. Nice sweetness. Sweetness level is very similar to the first one. Mm -hmm. Quite soft, a little bit of red berry fruit in there, candy style mid-length, silky, honey, red fruit, sweet red fruit flavour, cloves for me. Yeah, it was a lot softer than I was actually expecting with red fruits. I was expecting more of a tobacco and nourishy sort of character, but yeah. I didn't particularly rent, get that. Yeah. I was touch in the background, but it was much more on the red fruits. On the red fruits. Let's go for the last one, which is the Meunier, the Pinot Meunier. Thank you. And this was gold medal. So this is the gold medal. Out of the three that they entered, this one was the gold. Let's see how that fares in the glass with us. 
different style once again. Different style once again. Yeah. So a bit, a bit yeasty. Hey. There is that. I've got touch of saline character on the nose. Yeah, saline. Once again, the alcohol seems stronger than the two previous. We've kind of scoured up the the, the aromas of the alcohol. Fruity, green yeah, fruits, fruit. red fruits, yellow fruits in there. Touch drier, a little bit of the saline characters as well in there. Good edge to sweetness, silky texture. And that is a consistent flavour experience. It doesn't change. It's kind of, kind of consistent for me. Yeah. So now that we've mm. tasted the tapia, should we go on to the pairings? Yeah, but I've got some manchigo here. I've also got the landana. I've got a smoky kind of cheese. I've gone for the brie. I've gone for the artisan Stilton there. Cheddar. We've got a pork pie. And we've got some di uh, different kind of hams here in the salami. And we've also got some uh, pate. So let's give that a go. I'm, gonna, I'm going to try some of the Chardonnay and see how that goes with some of this. So it's really good. For me, Ratafia Champignon is perfect for a an afternoon cheese party, cheese and wine party. Ratafia should be one of those wines that you have on the table for me. I still have a bit of a green lady in the glass. The green lady oh. was the Mounier, wasn't it? The Mounier. And we go for the brie with the Chardonnay. Let me try the cheddar. I love, for me, I love brie with Prosecco. They wonderfully balance together and they exude fruitiness to get silky honey flavours. Here we've got it here, but in more intensity. It's very deep, dark flavours here in the palate. Very, very memorable. Silky, creamy honey, but dark honey, dark berries, dark floral palate. Really, really good. Wow. Which one was the green again? That was the... This was the Mounier, the Pinot Mounier, the gold medal. That was wonderful with the cheddar cheese. It sort of, it matured the cheddar cheese in a way. The Ratafia just surrounded the cheddar and then slowly soaked in and that wonderful character from the Ratafia, the yellow, yellow fruits, a bit of, a bit of touch of uh, oak sort of character, soaks into the cheddar cheese and sort of matures it. Matures it, there we go. Hopefully it doesn't mature us when we're drinking it. But just, I'm going to go for some salami, and this is with the Mounier. So, altogether different texture, a lot more oily, kind of fatty style. I'm going to go for the Chardonnay with some pate. Good. Initial, the, the, the Ratafia cuts through the, the texture in the palate, all of the oily, greasy texture. Slight bit of a clash mid-palate. Mid -palate. There's a mixture of salt and fruit flavours. Towards the close, the, that, the, the salami's coming back into play. Equally present is the ratafia. Okay, a little bit clashy, not the best. I'd say with the Chardonnay and the pate, it was a, it was a little bit clashy as well. It's about 60% of the tapia, 40% of the pate. Initially, it was sort of an imbalance, but then by the end, it turned into, into savoury, very savoury goodness. It's hard to explain, so you have to, have to try. After experience. Well, listen, I'm going to try another one of the cheese here. I'm going to go for the landana here. I'll just cut some in case anybody wants some. This is the smoky one, the orange one. I'll go for the pinot noir with the brie. Mm. working better with the texture, the creamy style in, with, from the cheese added with the sweetness from the taffy. That, that, that combination is really good. And again, it's fairly strong this cheese, so this cheese is still prominent throughout the, throughout the tasting, but you have like a mixture of all the different wonderful flavors from the taffy in between. Slightly cleanses the palate, but it's still, cheese is relatively prominent here out of the two, but the, the, 
resistant light succulents from the Rutathia adding its flavours. The Pinot Noir, for me with the Brie, it seemed like it was going to soak in very nicely, but then the Brie just blasted out with its, with its flavours and for a while that was all that I could taste, but then it allowed the Rutathia in for a nice little blend at the end. I'm going to go for the blue here, this is the blue, the artisan blue that we got the other day. I'm going to go for the Chardonnay with the, let's have with the ham. This is the pairing, this, this is the one. The blue cheese with the Rattafia, my goodness. It's really good, it's a very strong, smelly blue cheese here. It's, it dominates the palate, but when the Rattafia comes in, it, it's shoulder to shoulder. Fruit, intense, sweet, almost silky fruit flavors are in between. It's a lovely mixture between the savoriness from the cheese, the salt, the saline, and then all the fruit flavours coming in. You're not losing anything. If you love the blue cheese, you're happy. If you love the Rattafia, you're happy. If you like them both playing the game of tennis in your mouth, you're also going to be happy. That was superb. That was the Pinot Noir with the, with the blue. And that sounds great. Uh, with the Chardonnay and the ham, um, initially, initially the, the Rattafia came in stronger, but then it removed sort of like the greasy texture from the ham, just leaving savoury notes at the end. Sounds good. I'm going to go a little bit. I'm going to go for the pork pie. I'll be the same as you. Okay. Cut it down here. And just put a little piece of this. Like that. And I'll try it with the... What am I going to try it with? I'm going to go back to the Chardonnay and see how that fares. You know what? Yeah, that's why you need the colours on there so we don't get them all mixed up. We know where we are. Mm. Mm. It's not too strong that meat. And actually it's quite a good quality uh, pie there. Uh, so it's not overly fatty, there's a lot of meat content in there. The dominant part is the, is the Chardonnay Rattafia Champignois. It's very it intensifies the flavour from the Chardonnay. It brings them out better. You've still got a little bit of the savouriness on the side. You know you've had a meat product, but the Rattafia is dominant. Even now, in the length, it's a very, it's a very faint expression of a savouriness, but I've got all the yellow apricot, peach, floral notes at the front of the palate that's driving the taste sensation. That's very similar to what I got as well. So don't give us much. Yeah, we can't add much more to that. Let's round things off. I'm going to finish with this the smoky cheese that we've got here, and we've got a touch of the Chardonnay left. We got a Pinot Noir with uh, what's it called? Manchego. Manchego. The one here. Yeah, we've got that one. Yeah. Quite a smoky textured cheese, ham style cheese, savoury, very much so. The, the Rattafia comes in for a very quick attack and then it disappears. And I've only left with the cheese. So there was a nice burst, maybe a touch palate cleansing, and then it's just cheese. I don't, I've got nothing from the Rattafia in the palate. For me, that was a wonderful pairing with the uh, man Manchego, with the... Uh the Pinot Noir. Yeah, Pinot Noir. Um, it was a wonderful pairing. The, the tapir came in with a little burst of its sweetness, and then the you never lost the cheese character. The sweetness from the tapir surrounded the cheese and sort of became like a cheesy dessert. Sounds good, but don't forget, champagne does pair wonderfully well with many different cheeses, and many times we'll have an afternoon, won't we, of fine cheese and fine champagne. But a, a good trick, uh, one of those cards up your sleeve could be to bring a bottle of Rattafia. At, at Friday, I've got a dinner and there's guests and we're having some foods. I've got a bottle of Rattafia in the bag because I want to show some people the, the, the vast qualities that this liqueur has. Um, and it only comes from the very unique region of Champagne. So there we go. That's the 
Right, Xavier Le Comte, the, the, the Pinot Noir, the, the Meunier and the Chardonnay labels, and that was with Tafia Champagne Noir with some cheese. So hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Until next time, enjoy the Tafia Champagne Noir.